Good morning. So the last we left it off, um, I was working on the search box for uh, the new Snippet Pixie GUI and was having a few problems with um, getting a suitable icon um, for the sort of backspace to clear a search box. <clears throat> so let's see where this was. Bring it back up. Okay. Okay, so that's uh, that's working. Couldn't even remember where we were with that. Uh, come on, move. Right. <clears throat> Turn that there. So what have we got? Ah, yes. We have for the um, it was the backspace I was having problems with. So I mean that shouldn't be showing at the moment. Uh, oh, I haven't actually done anything to stop it from showing. That's a good point. Uh, that's another thing I've got to do. Um, but I have a clear icon. Um, and when we come in, the first thing set to is delete left. Um, and I was going to try and make it switch between a solid and regular. But oh, there is no regular version. Um, there is, seems to only be a solid version, which is no good. I want it to be um, that when when we focus it, it becomes solid. Um, and other times when it shows, it should be just like an outline version. And I can't do that. So I was looking at last time at different icon sets and I think I basically um, come down to using uh, hero icons. Um, they're made by uh, the Tailwind um, CSS guys. Um, I think Dave, is it, what's his name? I should say the problem, yeah. Steve, Steve Shoker. Um, and they look all right. Um, they are optimized for like 24 by 24 and 20 by 20, which is quite small. Um, so they're going to be kind of simple when expanded to a larger size. I think for the time being, that's OK. Um, we'll see. Uh, I'll give it a go. Um, Otherwise, I'll have to start looking for maybe a, another um, more complete open source set. Um, let's see what we can do there. Um, but what I do like is that this is MIT licensed, um, as is the library that I'm going to use, um, which basically wraps them up in Svelte. Um, it's about components. So I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to swap to that instead and see how, see if I can get them working. So it's simple enough by looks of things. Um, I just need to install this. Um, and then I will be import in right and then I'll do this version I think for the starters where I just import a specific icon from the full set I could always um, reduce it down to specific icons later if I wish but 
there should be tree shaking and everything going on. It should be okay, I think. We'll see. Hopefully it won't expand too much. Um, we will see. Let's do that anyway. Uh, so, uh, down here, let's uh, kill off current thing. Go into front end. Place that, but say dev because it's only a build time thing okay now we're gonna go back here and do rounds dev again actually before I do that because that's getting really annoying trying to move the thing let me um let me update my Yeah, I think I'll do it here. Okay, whack up the uh, the border. I'll just double it. I'll do. I'll snip it, pixie. Um. Now, hopefully, then, I'll get a slightly larger border. It'll be easier for me to catch it and resize. I could use keystrokes to resize it, but I'm lazy. All right, there we go. It's a bit easier now. And it's easier for you to see. Okay, right, let's stick that on my fifth workspace, and let's try this, then. So, I am going to stop using that. And I am going to switch to import um, backspace icon. And there we go. And Ah, uh, yeah, that was the other benefit of this. I don't need to do this variable um, switching. So, what I can do, though, I can switch it between uh, focus and not focus by just setting the solid property on it. So, what I'll do is, right, well, change this so this is going to be a backspace icon I'll just show it for the moment and then We'll need a variable. So what I'll do is I will rename this. So I'll just call Yeah, I'll call that um icon. Do that. And it'll start off as false. And then in here it will switch to true. So when we get a focus on the icon, the backspace icon up here, when I tab to it, um, the focusing will set that to true. And then when I leave it, I want it back to false. 
and then in here on the backspace icon I'll just set solid is equal to clear icon focused hopefully that will work um, now I don't know what size this is going to be when it's all done but Okay. Let's give it a reload. Don't think it's happy. Interestingly, it's not showing at all, is it? Okay. Yeah, that's um, not quite what I wanted. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so uh, it needs, um, <laughs> it also needs to be set, have a size set. <laughs> Uh, that's great. <laughs> right. Um, so, so they've been using a class, I think, to set the size. Um, but I can't use that uh, because I'm not using Tailwind. So what have we got instead? I wonder if there's a way around that. Vbox. That's taking props. So I can basically pass in the class and everything. Okay, uh, right, well, let's try Viewbox and we'll see how that goes. Um, because, uh, yeah, that's a little large. Oh, it's got a, it's got a view box there. So it should, in theory. Hmm. Why is it not showing on here? That's interesting. Maybe because it's built. Maybe I'll cut that off again. Maybe it'll come up. No, it's, it's not liking it. Either that is hiding it. I suppose if I let's have a quick look. Oh look, it is there.
Do um, well, do one of them. Ah, there you go. We just need a width. Fix it on here as well. Um, Yeah, okay. It's just unbounded at the moment. Okay. Right. So let's. Let's hide that and reload. Bring it down to a smaller size so we can deal with it. And we'll start mucking about with the. Uh, size somehow um so well there's no uh, what there's no like width Is there? Okay. That's cool. So I can do that. Um, and I just need to set something more in keeping. So at the moment, it's font size 1.2. Uh, that would do. And it is square, so let's just double check that I don't need to do that. that change anything? If I take that out again, does that actually make it any different? No. Okay, that's fine. Um, and can I do this? Hmm. I wonder if I take that out. So it should be gone again because it's got no size. Can I do it on the button instead? Will it ripple down? Ooh. Okay.
All right. So if I take that out, do as we will let it um, resize itself based on the contents um, and then in here let's just do a quick refresh make sure it's up to date okay um, if we inspect that I can target it, but I'm not sure if I should do the way I'm going to do it. <laughs> what I'm thinking of doing is simply doing something like... Clear icon. If I do SVG, I can do with... Basically, I don't want to be mixing uh, where I do the size stuff. Yeah, it's not going to work there. It was actually on the SVG. I wonder why that's not working. Clear icon. Oh, because it's content. I can't do that. It's not really. Yeah, it's not quite the same. It's not a child as such when it's in a button. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's do it just manually then, because, uh, yeah, I don't think that's right. We'll do that. Uh, was it view box as well? What happens if I do this? Does that make any difference? No. I should just double check that was the... I'll just do the width. I 
we could do PX, I suppose. Yeah. It's a bit better. I need to align it better, though. What's oh, pushing down there? Is it doing the same on here? No. Thirty-six point three. Thirty-six point one. Nineteen point two. That's interesting. I wonder if I need to just switch the um, box model on that. Board box, well that's kind of what I want. to make any difference. Why am I? Hmm. Of course. And I can't do flex. Because I'm out of that. Why am I? Yeah. I could do that. I bet that would make a difference. So what about then? Okay, well let's let's finish off the functionality before I start mucking about with the sizing and stuff. So at the moment we have clear icon focused false. When it's true, does that. So in theory, if I get it, yeah. Wow, that's it is the wrong way around, doesn't it? Hmm. Not what I want.
It works, but... It ain't pretty. So I need to kind of adjust the colors there. I think... Um, What if I could do Okay, let's do something silly here. Just to see what happens. So, clear icon, records, I'll do color, um, Try this. Hmm. This could be silly. What if? I'm wondering whether that solid is going to work for me. So let's take that out. Let me switch this back to color. It's not so bad, actually. Hmm. It kind of makes me think, because of the size and issues here, Maybe I should stick with my existing fonts.
So in our fonts, icons. Because I could do this. Let's try something. Going back in time. Is that as far as it's going? That would be a pain. One second. Hmm, it isn't okay. Wasn't it? That's what it was. Change this up, actually. Let's do this. Seen the error of my ways, and I should not escape that. Okay, search icon. Right, let's have a go at this. Um, I'm going to just use the font or some stuff for the moment because of the size and issues the hero icon. Um, so that means back to using something like that in here. And let's go in and then here we're going to have Clear icon. And then, what did I delete there? Oh yeah, I moved it down, didn't I? Yeah. Um, and then here, So we have an icon, we have a search icon, a clear icon. We are on focus in, we're setting the focus class effectively. Uh, if we focus in on the clear, we are doing an extra thing. Yeah, of clear icon focused. And we, uh, although we probably don't need that anymore, because we've got this. But I'm going to take that on a second. Let's do that. Okay, so we're back to the solid one, which is good. It's just better. 
um, sized the formatted and then it goes blue well greeny blue and does its thing okay and I want to do the same thing on search don't I Yeah, okay. Change my mind. So let's do this instead then. Uh, actually, um, Got a fair bit of duplication going on here. So let's do a couple of sensible ish things here. All right, before we do that, let's give that a quick check, make sure that works. Yes, okay. Um, Right, let's do some sensible things. Right, the input stuff we're just going to put up here as the basis. Uh, search icon. All right, let's take that. Put it down over there because we're going to merge them up in a second. Uh, yes, we want all of that up. As the basis for the search. We'll do that at the beginning here. And then we're going to have Gonna have a search icon and clear icon. Have a common base, but not a common border. So they've got the same background color, base border, font size pad in margin. All right, is not okay. And then the search icon doesn't need that, doesn't need that, doesn't need that, but does need that. And then clear icon does that. And then both. Do that. So they're both focus change color. We've got Yeah, and we wanted this last because it overrides. We needed that, so let's see. That still works, that still works. Okay, so we don't need this anymore. Uh, 
And where do we use that? We do. We do use it here. So on the bottom, on the input, on the button. Don't need that anymore, don't need that anymore. Simplifying things down basically. And when that gives a click, Okay, I want to refocus based on that as well. So what I'm going to do, right, hold on, save. Make sure there's no errors. Hmm. Um... I'll have to review that later. What focus works. So. Um, I want to, when you click the search button, so you've got down there and you just want to click it again. I want it to come back to certain focus on there. So we will take this out. And search. Now, how do I, what's the best way? To grab that. Hmm. Well, I, I know it's got an ID, so I guess I can just do a query by ID. Uh, 
Let me see a window. Why am I not finding what I want? I know we've got a selector there, but I don't want selector. I want the uh, query by ID. Oh no, it's get, isn't it? Get element by ID. Thank you. I don't want query it. I want to get it. Um, uh, so, I guess in theory I can just stick name in here then. And then just do a focus. See what happens. Cool. If I can do that there, then I can do that for this as well. Because at the moment, when I clear this, it doesn't reselect the search, which is not not great. What I want is the same kind of system. So in here. We'll do the same thing. Handle clear. Don't need to dispatch anything. And we'll just be doing, uh, what was it, just value, wasn't it? Equals that. And then we focus that again. Perfect. Okay, so I should be able to just uh, tab into it. And if I hit space or enter, or space, goes back that's good um if i do that and if i go back and hit space yep if i hit enter yep enter yep smart okay so that's working then let's make sure what's it look like on here is that okay yep That will do. That will do. We have a search box. That seems to do the right things. Okay, so I need to do a little bit of tidy up. Um, I want to take out that now. And then I'll do a make clean. All. So it's got rid of all the node modules. And then I'll do um I'll do a while dev again or rebuild that. Uh, 
Now, in theory, I shouldn't be able to find what we've got in here then. So we've got that change, font awesome. Font awesome. Font awesome. No others. Good, so it has come out. And what other changes have we got? So we're pulling in the new font awesome stuff. We have focusing, we're using and handle search, handle clear. And that looks okay. Nothing redundant there. Global. I had to do the focus visible outline none to stop focus ring. Input we've been looking at. That's it. Okay. Right. Uh, so let's give that a quick. That's fine. Let's do a make. And we do build bin and then the actual binary. It's a bit off center, isn't it? Didn't notice that before. Where did that come from? Hmm. Yep. So what is there something there? Oh. <laughs> okay. That's not good. Okay, so the error message, message because we're yeah because we've changed the flex stuff. <laughs> okay, so I need well, there's a couple of things I can do there. One is I don't really have a need for an error message. label as such when doing the search so I could just if it out um Yeah. It's interesting that it is actually on the end there. I guess because it's there. What I need, what I could do.
I could take it out of the div actually. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Let's try that. Um, because mm, we'll see. Let's see what that does. Okay, so that's realigned it, that's better. Um, we do have it underneath now. I'm going to stick with that, but what I am going to do is I'm just going to hide it during a search. at the moment I don't need it in a search there's no reason that I raise an error we only have error text set elsewhere that means I get a little bit of I get it back basically I get some space back there I think we're okay. I think it's lined properly. Everything's this is popping out there, but I'm gonna be rewriting these anyway. These are just placeholders. So I think we're good. Okay, um back again. Really? That's not true. Hmm. I have to fix my make file, I think. Okay, that's better. Fine. All right, search box done. Now we've got to actually do the list stuff, but let's do this first.
Oh, actually. <laughs> there is one little thing I wanted to do there. So, no. Um, search and clear buttons. So one thing that's not quite right is that the backspace button's there all the time. It shouldn't be. It should only be there once I actually have uh, something to clear and then you can go clear it and then it should kind of go away it shouldn't be visible so um, let's do that a little bit interesting there because we don't actually want to hide the button completely So we could So what we could do, so this will break the format in here, but what we could do is if search and value, I think that'll work. So there's something in there, then it will show, otherwise it will not. So we're going to get a broken end here, but I can fix that. So yeah, so there it's gone. And as soon as I've typed something, it comes back. Gone, back. But obviously you want a nicer thing there. So is that? What's the width there? That is the right width, that's okay. Okay. So in that case, what we could do I'm gonna try this. I don't know this, whether this will work. I thought it might need a boolean, but if I can do this, we'll see. And then so it will now when we have a value in theory, when we have a value, it will also have the class value and then in that case it does that right mm. Yeah, I mean, I could. No, I do want to hide the whole thing because if you tab in And then tab through you want to be on the next thing rather than search than the clear box 
So I do want to remove it completely. Um, so I don't have to muck about with tab index and stuff. So yeah, we'll, we will do this. So this is what we want. Do that and then here all right hold on let's test this so at this point i'm going to basically break <laughs> lots of stuff here um, but we are only going to have no border radius and the margins gone on the main input bit when there is a surge value, so see it breaks on this side now. But we do have like the ending is okay. And then as soon as I do day, it comes back in on the end and, and the other one as well. So I need to just fix the front as well. So um, yeah, so we'll just take that. Just have input search. Uh, border radius. Oh, we right have to the other side, don't we? Border top left radius zero. Bottom left zero. Border left, none. Margin left, none. Border right, none. And margin right are going to be kept. That means in theory I can take these two out as well. And then I'm just going to do an override there. Because this always applies. On search. Okay. So let's make sure we haven't got any artifacts. No. Okay. Um, so I should be able to do. Yep, yeah, comes in, we get the end bit, and I can focus it, and it goes away. And then it's, yeah, that's good. That's better. So it doesn't pop in until then. Um, and let's make it a little bit nicer. Um, I think it's import fade. Do I have to do transition? Actually, I wonder if it will all to complete for me. I just can't remember what the path is to it. I think it's in Svelte, but it's maybe in a sub path. But anyway, uh, right, what I'm going to do, it's on here, do a transition. Fade. Local. Right, and then hopefully this will give me a oh thought it was gonna give me a import <laughs> right. okay. import 
Right. No. From about transition. There we go. I thought it was, but I wasn't wasn't sure. Been a while. Um so I put that in. And oh, and the reason why I did local is because I don't want this fading in and out um, as on when the page changes as well. I just want only uh, the transition to happen when this comes into being on its own, not when they think so. If I do that, uh, it's not great. It's a little bit. That might not be what about I wonder if it'll work on here. Let's take it out of here. Down here, see what happens. I'm not sure that's going to work. No. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. That's a pain. That might be a bad idea then. The only other way to get around that would be maybe to also do on here. No. No, it's just too much. If maybe I had left it in place. It might have worked, but no. Scratch that idea. It's just not needed. Here, button only visible when search turn entered. I'll do. Okay, uh, well, I think I think that's enough for today. We've got that going. Um, we now have uh, sort out at some point. We now have work in search box and even the binary works. So the next job is to sort out the list. Um, and start and I'm putting some well some style to it for starters um, and also some functionality so that you can actually go for go edit one of these um, and obviously we need to get to the point of having that add button again as well um, that's a good point actually uh, if 
no, I'll do that some other time. We'll keep the data there for the moment. Okay. Uh, so uh, that's that. Um, until next time, when we'll start working on the list um, and placement of buttons and try and actually decide what we're going to do with that, that screen. Um, so uh, until next time, thanks for watching uh, and you take care.